with this lesson, uh, we start talking about what's called trigonometric ratios, or trig ratios for short. And basically what we're doing is we're looking at uh, right triangles. And there, it turns out that there's a relationship, or there's a ratio between um, the angle, a given angle, we call this angle A, and the legs of, of, the, of the triangle. The first one we're going to look at is called the tangent ratio, or just tangent for short. Okay. And so the way we abbreviate this is we would say that the tangent of A, angle A, is equal to the opposite leg. So I'm going to abbreviate this opposite over the adjacent leg. Okay, so it's opposite over adjacent. All right, so if I put some numbers here, let's just say that this is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. Then we would say that the tangent of angle A is equal to the opposite leg over the hypotenuse, or excuse me, the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Okay, and so this is going to come out to 1.3 with the line on top. One third, one and one third. Okay, if I label this one B, and let's C, then I would say that the tangent of B is going to equal the opposite of B going across would be 3, and then the adjacent leg would be 4, so this would be 0 0.75. Ah, so looking at this problem now, um, we're going to actually put a degree in here. So we'll say that this angle is, has a measure of 32 degrees. We want to find the value of x, which is here. So uh, because, they, again, we're using the legs, we know that the tangent of 32 degrees is equal to the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Okay? We're going to have to do some algebra to kind of rearrange this so that we can solve for x. We'll have x by itself. So to do that, I need to multiply both sides by x. Okay, This would be x over 1, so I can factor out those two x's. So that would turn into 1. So then we have x times the tangent of 32 degrees is equal to 11. Right, so then we would divide by the tangent of 32 degrees. The um, x's or the tangents would factor out because of that tangent over tangent. x would be left on the left, and then we would have to take 11 divided by the tangent of 32. Uh, in order to finish off this problem, we're going to need to use a calculator. So, what we want to do, regardless of the calculator that we're using, is we want to make sure that our settings are set to degrees. So, on, in this case, I'm going to hit the home button. And I want to go here to settings, and then I want to change the document settings. And I want to make sure that it's set to degrees. So it is in mine, so you'll need to change yours possibly. Then we need to go to our calculator screen, and then it's 11 divided by the tangent. Now the trig functions are right here by the control button, so we'll hit that. Then we'll go to tangent of 32, and then we'll hit enter. And so we get 17.6037. Right, so if I round this, it's going to come out to be about 17.6. Um, next we have this problem that says use a special right triangle to find a tangent of a 60 degree angle. So remember if I have, or if I draw a right triangle, um, let's say this side's 30, this one's a 60 degree here. Okay. Uh, remember that we had the formula was our short side's x, this would be x square root of 3, and this would be 2x. That's what we want to do then, since we're just using any special right triangles, we want to make the smallest uh, one possible. So I'm going to replace the x with a 1, since it's a ratio. The simplest ratio would be to let x be 1. And so here 2 times x would be, or 2 times 1 would just be 2. Uh, 1 square root of 3 would just be the square root of 3. And then my short leg is 1. So if I'm looking at the tangent of 60, 
Uh, that's going to be the opposite leg, which is the square root of 3, over the adjacent leg, which is 1. And so the tangent of a 60 degree angle is just the square root of 3. Okay. And if I round that to the nearest tenth, that's going to be 1.7. Next, we're going to introduce what's called the angle of elevation. And what that means is that um, angle of elevation means I'm, I'm looking up. So let's say that I have this tree. And um, let's just make a tree real quick. Pretend there's a tree. And let's say that I want to figure out this height of this tree. So here's my age. I want to figure out this height. Now let's say that I'm able to measure from the distance from that tree to some part. Let's say that this is 45 feet. And so I'm looking up. Elevation is because I'm looking up to something, to the top of something. So I'm looking up this direction. And let's say that this angle happens to be 59 degrees. Okay. So I can use my, my trig functions, or especially my tangent ratio here, to find out the height if I, can, if I know this angle. So I would say that the tangent of 59 degrees is going to equal to the opposite leg versus the or over the adjacent leg. Okay. So I want to solve for the height, which means I'm going to have to multiply both sides by 45. So my height is equal to 45 times the tangent of 59 degrees, okay. which is going to be about uh, 74.9 feet.